Why don't we suspend all candidates in all parties, in all elections, until Israel approves them? Is that the democracy we want? And we have to ask ourselves, why is the entire political class in Britain in thrall to a tiny little country 2,200 miles away from here, and nothing can be said by anybody here which they don't like. What is it? What hold is it that this little country has on our politics in Western countries? We all know in America it's about money, but the sums of money here in Britain are paltry. By American standards, you'd laugh. You can only spend about £14,000 in a general election in one constituency. Are these people enthralled to Israel for three, four, or five thousand pounds? In which case, they're precious cheap. If other lobbyists knew how cheap they were, they, they, they'd be moving in and getting a piece of the action. I don't know what the situation is. I don't know why they are so terrified of Israel that they're ready to sack their own candidates in the middle of a by-election when I am breathing down their neck. That's how scared of Israel they are. And when this is all over, and I fully anticipate it will be over with a couple of new letters after my name, we have to ask ourselves how, why, when British politics became effectively outsourced to Netanyahu's Israel, whose pleasure or displeasure dictates who can stand, who can win, who can be elected, and what policy they can follow. 